Hey guys and welcome. I made this uh, quick overview video to introduce you to the Creative Cloud Bridge uh, Batch Rename tool. Uh, it's a pretty cool tool. Um, it, what it does, it allows you to uh, quickly and easily rename files uh, on your computer. So if you have uh, you know, countless number of files, you don't want to be doing it manually, this tool will help you do it quickly and easily. So uh, let me take you through this process. Uh, like I said before, this is a quick overview. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'll be rushing through this. When you come to do yours, get to know the tool, you know, get familiarized with the options and stuff like that, uh, you know, the options available. I will uh, show you stuff, I will show you enough to get you started. So what I've done is I've opened up Bridge. You need to go into Bridge first. Then you need to go to the folder that contains the files you want to rename, like I've done here. And then what you do is you do a command A to select all. I'm on a Mac, so that's why it's, that's command, command A. Or, and then what you do is you click on tools, batch rename. So this is the batch rename dialog box. And a couple of things to take note. You can choose to rename in the same folder, but I generally put a copy into a new folder. So what I do is I click on browse and it takes you straight to the folder that you had opened in bridge. And then I'm going to create new and I'm going to call it renamed. And there is the folder there. Just scroll up, double click and click on open. So I've now put the folder in here. Now here is where all the options are. The first option is the text option. This is the, the string that you want to give the, the file. So I just call it big, bright, simple. You can call it whatever you like. And a sequence number. I've given it a sequence number. I start from one. You can choose how many, uh, how big you want that numbers to be. I just use two digits, and I see here I put a, a dash so that sequence number will start after that dash. If I don't, it'll start after the e. Now, here is a sample of what it'll look like. Remember, I put that dash, and if I remove that dash, see the dash is gone, and it just the sequence number starts after the letter e. But just for readability purposes, I'm just going to put a dash there. Now you can add another option if you wish. Uh, another option would be uh, by clicking on these uh, crosses, you can add the options. New extension. If you notice here, my files are JPEGs and PNGs. Now, if I want them all to be JPEGs, I just put JPEG, JPG, and that's what it'll do. Now it'll all save as a JPEG. But I just wanted to show you how to add these options. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. So now if I want to remove an option, I uh, click on the minus and it'll remove the option. That's just to show you how to add these, how to add more options uh, within the dialog box. Also, um, you can, uh, I always choose preserve the current file name in XMP uh, metadata. And I also choose Windows and Mac is automatically chosen because I'm on a Mac. Um, you can choose Unix if you like, but I just feel that Windows and Mac are the most commonly used uh, OS operating systems out there, so I just choose those two. And this is here the preview of what the file will look like once the rename has happened. Now, you can choose to save this as a preset, so if you ever have to do this again, you just uh, click on save, and I'm just going to call it um, Big Bright Simple and click OK. So now here in the drop down are the presets. You can rename any of your um, uh, projects so that if you had to do it again, you don't have to fill in all this information again. You just simply choose the preset. Now it's ready to, uh, to be renamed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the rename button and within seconds, again, depending on how many files you have, it can take a couple of minutes to a couple of seconds. And because I only had I don't know, 12, 10 files, 12 files, it took a second to do. And here's the rename folder that I, you know, remember I created before. I double click on it and go into it. And here are the files with those extensions at the, uh, at the sequence numbers at the end. That's it, guys. Um, I hope this helped. I hope it'll help you in your projects, especially when you have countless number of files to rename. Uh, you know, instead of doing it manually, this is probably the easy and quick way of doing it. Um, please feel free guys to comment below with any suggestions or feedback. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. 
If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified of more videos coming up soon. So until next time guys, please take care and uh, thanks for watching.